Like what happens when you wash it so many times? What happens when you stick it in the dryer one too many times? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. We are joined today with a special guest who decided to lay on the bed with me while I film. So he's just gonna be here for the video. But anyway, today's video, as you probably read in the title, we are going to be answering the question that I'm sure many of you have had because I had this question myself. How well does expensive activewear actually hold up? I mean, most brands, it's an investment to like buy the leggings because they're 70, 80, 90 to $100. So wouldn't you want to know before buying those leggings that they're actually going to hold up more than like a month or two months or like through one workout? So I'm going to start with a brand and then I'm going to go through some of the items I have had for a long period of time. I try to pick items that have different fabrics so you could kind of compare it to items that the brands are launching now. Um, so you can see like how this fabric holds up over time. And then what I'm going to do is give it a rating out of 10 based off of pilling, loose strings, fabric getting worn out, see-through, maybe in between the thighs, did the fabric like make holes? So if you find today's video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, um, even comment like midway through if you're liking it or not, and subscribe to my channel for future videos. But without further ado, let's just jump right into today's video. You have some of the top Instagram, YouTube, fitness, athletes promoting this brand. We're talking about Gymshark. Um, so Gymshark, I purchased a pair of Gymshark leggings um, about a year, two years ago, maybe at this point. I'm not sure, but these things have been through the washer. They've been through the dryer. They've been outdoors. They've been to the gym. They've been through many workouts. They've been on runs. Um, they are my Adapt Seamless leggings. If you haven't seen my video yet where I review the leggings just on their own, check it out right up here. But in terms of how they held up, so let's just jump into it. So fabric wise, I mentioned it before, but they are a stretchy fabric. Again, this is their seamless legging. This has like a pattern on it. So let's start off first with pilling. Um, I wouldn't say much pilling has occurred with these leggings. However, I have gotten a few pulls with this fabric. Since it's more of a stitched or knit type fabric, if you get it caught on something, I have cats and if their claws get into it, it will pull. So that is the first sign of wear that I have noticed. In terms of in between the thighs, it has not worn down at all. Um, there are no holes or anything that have begun to form. The seams have stayed intact and I'm not even seeing much pooling. I mean, there's a little bit of wear right in the middle area, but other than that, it looks good there. At the bottom here too, we have another pool. So you can see there are multiple pools here. In terms of stretch, I feel that these leggings haven't really worn out much. They've gone, they've done pretty well at like going back to its natural form. Overall, using the Gymshark Adapt Seamless Leggings as my base point in determining a rating for Gymshark, I would give Gymshark an eight out of 10 for a longevity score. Overall, they've stayed in pretty good shape. A few pools here and there, but that can happen. Brand number two that we are going to focus on. Another brand I have done videos on before. We are moving on to Alphalete, a brand that is owned by fitness, YouTuber Christian Guzman himself. They have come out with many different styles over the years, um, a few different fabrics. So I have a few of their leggings here. 
I have a load of Alphalete leggings. Some I like more than others. Some of just, they just don't stay up on me, so I don't wear them as often. So I picked out a few of the ones I have worn multiple times and I have purchased a little bit ago. So let's just jump right into it. I tried to pick different fabrics so we could review it on that basis, but so what I'm going to do is since I have a few different leggings for this brand, I'm going to list the name in the bottom corner and I'm going to go on their website and see if they have something similar still in stock. And if so, I will list a or show a picture of it on the side. So anyway, we're going to start with these leggings from Alphalete. They are a seamless like material. However, they do have both a front seam and a back seam. So I guess it doesn't really make it seamless now, does it? In terms of fabric, they do remind me of the Amplify fabric, but they're way thicker. Like their waistband is super thick. When I first got these leggings, I wore them on a run because to me, that's the ultimate test of whether or not a legging would stay up. And these bad boys stayed in place. I've had these for probably two years now. These were probably the first leggings I bought from Alphalete and the waistband still stays up. Few things to point out though. In terms of pilling, the only pilling I've really noticed is on the seams of the interior, which personally, that doesn't bother me too much. Um, as for the exterior though, and the front of the leggings themselves, not a whole lot of pilling, but something to point out, I wore these leggings with a resistance booty band and they like completely pilled, messed up the fabric on the front of these. So I've learned from that and have determined that I will not use those bands when wearing leggings of this type of material because it really messes them up. Other than that, in terms of any like holes or anything, I don't know if this was just a bad pair, but I did get a hole in the waistband and it has like grown over time. So that's the only true hole. I call it a hole maybe, but as you can see, it started to run. That might be from the dryer, that could be from wear, but that's something to keep in mind when you're buying these leggings that do have holes and like a mesh-like fabric that there is the possibility for run. Moving on to another pair of leggings that almost feel like the um, Buff Bunny Collection's Nubray fabric. It is a softer material. This is a 68% polyester, 32% spandex type of material. They also on the back here have their rubber Alphalete logo rather than a stitched in Alphalete logo. But yeah, let's start this off with any pilling. These leggings, surprisingly for the material, have not had any pilling happen on them. In terms of holes or worn downness, I have not had any holes appear in these leggings. Even though it is a really holy type pattern, I have not had problems with there being any additional holes created or tears in the hole. So they were created quite well. Even the rubber on the back here, I always worry that this is gonna fall off. And I do have an Alpha Lead sports bra that had this rubber that did fall off. It was one of their tri bras and that came off right away. So just something, I guess these can fall off, but on these leggings, they have not. So that is this pair of leggings. And finally from Alphalete, we're going to talk about the Amplify leggings, which you have seen everywhere. I made a video on those as well. I will put it up here if you haven't seen it yet. But the Amplify leggings, in terms of pilling, I mentioned in that video, they have pilled, which is kind of really disappointing because these are one of my favorite pairs of leggings. Um, but I got some pilling here on the front and I believe on this side as well, almost like a sweater. You can just see little like fabric, little blobs. Um, in terms of it wearing out though, I haven't had any problems with that. I've had no holes or anything created in the inner thighs of these leggings. No holes overall actually. Um, in terms of stretchiness, these have maintained their stretch pretty well. Um, I mean, I've worn these a lot, so maybe they've lost a little bit in the waistband, but overall, 
they have done pretty well. I apologize for the pet hair on them. If you're curious if it collects pet hair, yes. Um, wonder from who, but <laughs> anyway, overall, Alphalete rating. We are going to give Alphalete a seven out of 10 because of the pulls and some of the leggings, the pilling and a few holes. Overall though, not a terrible score. They have done pretty decent for the price that you are paying for their leggings. Last but certainly not least, our third brand we're going to be talking about is, can you guess? Buff Bunny Collection. Um, as you have seen from my channel, you will know that I have reviewed Buff Bunny Collection quite a bit. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out right here. But Buff Bunny Collection is owned by like girl boss, Heidi Sumers. She is goals. So we're going to start with the legacy leggings. Like I said, I have reviewed these leggings before in another video. So after you're done watching this one, if you want to go check out that one, feel free. But the legacy leggings overall, in terms of pilling, there's not a whole lot of pilling going on in the inner thighs of the leggings. Yes, um, definitely have gotten worn out. They feel like, I don't know, it's not like it's pulled or anything, but a lot of pilling going on in the inner thighs. But on the front of the leggings, it's not too bad. There's some at the top here too with the waistband. Not terrible though. Um, haven't noticed any loose strings or anything with these leggings. I do have a pair of legacy shorts that I got it and there were like loose strings everywhere. I think it may have just been a faulty pair. I haven't had that problem on any of my other shorts that I've gotten from them. So that's one thing to point out here though. It can happen. And I didn't like tell customer service about it or anything. So I've just dealt with it. They're still fine. I'm actually wearing them right now in this video. They're okay. Anyway, these leggings have been through like the wash a lot. Um, if you could probably tell, like, the Buff Bunny logo on the back here is, it's holding on, but it's, like, barely holding on. Um, in terms of, like, pulls or holes or anything, I do believe I have a hole in these leggings, but it's from my cat. Um, his claw got stuck in the legging, so it did create a small hole. So I guess with the Nubre fabric, if you were to, I don't know, have a cat claw in your leggings, it would create a hole. Um, other than that, overall, these leggings have held up pretty well. Like I said, I have worn these a ton. They are a solid black pair of leggings. In terms of animal fur though, since we happen to have an animal here to test that out, yes, they do collect a lot of fur. All of the Nubre fabric does. So if you're going to wear Nubre and you have a pet, keep a lint roller nearby. Next pair of leggings we're gonna talk about from Buff Bunny Collection, since it is a different type of fabric, is the Rebel leggings. I really like these leggings. These are like my airport leggings. They are the cheetah print ones from the, I believe it's the Rebel collection. Um, anyway, these ones have held up pretty, pretty well. Again, with the pet hair. They also collect pet hair. But these ones with this fabric, it's more of a stretchy, more spandexy like material. Um, so it's more slick. I don't know if you're able to see that. So I haven't had a problem with pilling on these ones much at all. There's a few in the inner seams of the leggings, but if it's in the inner thigh, that really doesn't bother me much at all. Um, there hasn't been any wear, wearing out of the leggings and the inner thighs at all. And not many loose strings. I mean, I have like that at the ankle. They may have come like that though, so that's not a big deal to me. Um, the waistband has stayed pretty stretchy. Overall, this is a comfortable pair of leggings. If they release these again, I recommend you get them. I have them too in, it was from the Mad Scientist collection. Those green ones, I call them my Tinkerbell leggings because they're super shiny and they're a statement in the gym. But those have also held up pretty well, but they're much more like, I don't know, they almost feel like leather pants, but that's besides the point. So ratings for Buff Bunny Collection. Due to the pilling and 
due to the pilling, we'll say. We're gonna give Buff Bunny an eight out of 10. They're a pretty solid pair of leggings. Uh, they're very cute patterns. They are pricey, but they hold up for at least two years, if not more. They all seem to be in pretty good shape. I have multiple pairs. These are just two of the many I have and they're all doing okay. So those are the three different brands. So in conclusion, to answer the question, do expensive activewear brands, leggings, hold up over time? The answer is, drum roll please. Yes, I would say yes. Although most of these leggings I've shown you here today are in like the 70 to $80 range, I truly believe they are worth their money. I've purchased multiple times from these brands, minus Gymshark, um, but that doesn't mean that Gymshark's leggings aren't good. I just have liked the patterns more with Buff Bunny and Alphalete, so I tend to gravitate more towards those companies. But needless to say, all three of these brands produce solid leggings that do last through the washer, through the dryer, even though you're not supposed to put them in the dryer, I put them in the dryer anyway, and they're fine, as you see, so it's okay. Anyway, um, they've lasted me through hikes, they've lasted me in the gym, they haven't had any major blowouts in the thigh region, which can happen with leggings. This is not to say at all that less expensive brands don't hold up just as well. Anyway, to conclude today's video. If you found today's video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for future videos. I'm trying to release one once a week. Um, and that is all. I will see you again next time. Bye. He would say bye too, but he's snoring. Oh, hello, sleepy boy. Hello.